Hello everybody, today we are here with Amy who is a big YouTuber of uh, dropshipping and also a dropshipper by herself. Uh, Amy joined to AutoDS some months ago and she will uh, tell you about her story with AutoDS and what she had here and her experience with AutoDS. Hey Amy, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm great. So uh, we waited for this interview a lot of time uh, because I think it will be really interesting for people to listen a bit, to hear a bit about your experience. Sure. So I prepared some uh, questions which I want to ask you and then we can make like an open uh, conversation. To have okay. So good. first of all, when did you join AutoDS? Um, I joined AutoDS in March. So I've been I've been in it a little maybe a little bit over a month, um, and my experience with it has been great. Um, I've been drop shipping since around two thousand and three, two thousand and four, and honestly, Auto DS is like somebody handing me a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> I've been around the rainbow trying to search for that pot of gold, and uh, it's just. E so easy compared to how I, used, I started, um, what is that, 15 years ago plus. Um, so I was very excited to learn about your software and um, just delve into it and see the smoothness and the easiness and just like the relief to any kind of person that wants to drop ship and or currently is drop shipping. Cool. Thank you. First of all, I'm very happy to hear about this. Uh, <laughs> How, with, with which suppliers do you work in AutoDS right now? Right now, I just exclusively have uh, used Amazon. I know here in the United States, it's like a huge supplier. And, and with my confidence in Amazon and their shipping, I figured that would help my eBay. I just opened a new store on eBay just for AutoDS. And um, I figured to get my feet, you know, on the ground, get it wet, get started in an eBay store. You have to have good ratings. I mean, everybody knows everything's reviews and ratings anymore. Um, to do that, I knew Amazon would be quick and I knew it would be reliable. And if I had returns, that they would handle them flawlessly. And that has been the case. Um, I've gotten, I, I'm amazed actually because of the automated system that I've gotten so many reviews on eBay compared to my like original store. The amount of reviews that I've gotten through AutoDS and using the whole system has been like so much faster. Like before it probably would have taken me six months to get the amount of reviews I've gotten in three weeks. Um, so it's been a, a really good experience. My eBay store has already been five stars and gotten a lot of reviews. Um, and I just, I, I'm pleasantly surprised because not everything works as well as this has been working. So it's been great. Cool. And your other stores, you know, selling like physical products? My other store, um, well, it's my original drop shipping store that I started 15 years ago. And um, without the, the automated system that AutoDS has, especially with the, the reviews and that sort of thing, I have like 800 and some, um, you know, stars from customers. And with AutoDS, I already have 30. So 15 years, 800 stars, I don't know what, the, what it comes down to, but I have 30 some in less than a month. Um, that's just amazing to me because those numbers are going to just increase, you know, as time goes on and, and the more products I get. So it just seems brainless actually to, to use it. And why would you, why would I go back to the way I was? Uh, I would, I, don't see any good reason to it's just cool. a lot harder but it, it works but this is so much easier so I mean before you worked like manually find products manually and listing in your store yes I would do research on products probably for an hour or so and maybe find two or three products and that's I mean I could list probably maybe five or six in that hour because I would have to copy and paste and copy and find images and um, put four or five in images, save it to my computer, upload it to eBay, and, and then just take the title and then take um, 
you know, all the, all the relevant stuff for that product and to make sure it was selling on eBay and make sure it was selling on Amazon. It was cheap. I mean, that, that, that's monotonous and it's a big waste of time, especially when you have a software that can just do it for you in a matter of one click. And I tell people that, and it's just like, what really? Like it's that easy. And, and sometimes people don't believe it's that easy because we're so used to putting work in for everything we do and get. Um, but you guys have just made it just almost unbelievable because we are so used to the hard work and the labor behind, you know, finding a product that might sell. Um, it's just been, I, I mean, uh, uh, nothing is perfect, but this comes close. I have to say. <laughs> cool. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, this is why we called it AutoDS because of the automation. Yes. Uh, how did you how do you find products uh, for your store? For AutoDS, I I'm honestly just using the Auto um, Lister right now. I use uh, the credits that I've gotten in and in my store or in my AutoDS account. I use those credits and I pick products, and I've kind of been doing experiments with the, the products that are selling one, three, five, eight, and the coupons. And I have them automatically listing to my eBay account just by, you know, pulling the little scroll over, um, just to, just to automatically upload. Basically all I do is pull the, the, the line over the little bar over, click okay, set the scheduled time. And then I go about my day and throughout the day, my work with AutoDS is checking how many orders I have. So <laughs> it's pretty fun and it's really cool to just check on it and see what orders went through. Um, now I will say it's, it, I don't want to give people the false, I, false idea that that's it, but that's primarily it. Like I do go in and I check my eBay messages just to make sure customers don't have any questions or, you know, sometimes there's a return. Um, which we have to, I have to deal with, which has been, I thought it would be a lot more scarier and, but it hasn't. Amazon has actually made it like really easy to make a return. So that has been working for me too. So that's basically it though for my, my end of the work. Cool. <clears throat> so this is why you like Amazon because of the easy returns. Yes. Yes. And I'm familiar with Amazon. I mean, probably a lot of people are. Um, at some point, I do want to branch out and see what else, um, what other services and how they, I mean, I know how they work. I know how the stores work, but to see how well they're going to do with this. Cool. Uh, when you said the uh, auto list, I mean the auto list finder, right? I mean, not yes. the regular capitals. Okay. Uh, also, um, maybe you didn't see it because it's a bit new feature. We added the recording uploads. Did you use it? Or did you it? Which uploads? Recording uploads from Data Desk Finder. Yes. Yeah, the where you schedule them. I yeah, I scheduled them for different times of the day. Um, one of them I put at like eleven AM between ten and eleven AM. And those people that wake up, you know, in the morning and get about their day are usually around ten or eleven. They're ready to think. And mm -hmm. then the other ones I did about 6 p.m., 6 to 7 p.m. I, I, I varied it um, for the different ones. I'll sometimes stop them and then start a new recurring upload. So those people that get home from work, they've eaten, um, and they're ready to settle down and just kind of browse through their their stuff to go shopping or they remember that they needed something. But usually I, I avoid the mid-afternoon time. Cool. So you actually schedule it to two different times in the day so you can catch people in both uh, times of the day. Yes. Yes. Nice. Yep. That's an so. interesting strategy because usually people schedule just for one time at 6 p.m. and you put yes. it in both. Very, very nice idea. <laughs> I would love to see the metric of what I sold and when I listed it. And it's probably not on AutoDS and it's like a nerdy thing, but it's a, a very um, interesting thing to me what time people buy and, and that would help, honestly. Cool. I think that you can also uh, uh, put tag, tag on your uh, products on which time they were uploaded. Mm -hmm. This way you can see which right. of the times works better for you. Yes. Uh, 
Yes. Uh, I know that you had uh, some uh, problems with the variation listings, so I want to talk also about the not good things, so people can see and learn from this. Uh, when did when did you start to work with variation listings, and what did you have with it? And honestly, I think it was like the day after you announced it, or maybe even the day of your announcement, because the variation gives you a lot more options. Um, and I'm the type of person that says, hey, let's just try this and see what happens. And sometimes I struggle and sometimes I don't. Um, I'm the type of person that turns the key in the ignition and pushes the gas, you know, puts it in, in drive and pushes the gas. And then if I wreck, then I figure out why I wreck. So with the variations, um, I, it was awesome because I had a ton of different listings, okay? But what I was finding, not always, but what I found in some of the listings, the pictures, and here, the crisscross may have been the problem. I was also uploading uh, the collage of pictures and the multiple pictures. So when somebody was searching, they would see maybe, pro let's say a product had uh, three variations. So they would see one, two, and three in the picture. And they would go in and just, you know, let's say they saw brown, but, the, but really the product was black. But they saw brown in the picture. They would go in thinking they were buying brown. And they would just click add to cart. So they weren't thinking. Like, honestly, I'm not sure it was the auto DS problem. Um, with the listing, but I don't think people were thinking by clicking the scroll down. They just kind of clicked add to cart. You know how you get, you see what you want and you just click, let's go. I don't have time to think. Um, so I was getting people ordering stuff that they didn't want that was kind of close to what they wanted. So what I did was I took off the variations until I could kind of think and figure it out. I'm not really sure how to deal with it still. Um, but the other thing I did was took off um, the picture collage and just kept it simple so people would have to think and they wouldn't see um, all the variations and then just go click add to cart. So I don't know what uh, you could tell me about that or what your thoughts are on that, but that was my one hiccup. And, you know, out, out of, I don't know how many I've sold, I've sold a few thousand dollars actually already um, and I've had maybe five issues out of that so it's not huge but there are things that you know i'd like to fix regarding that cool so uh this is something which many people had this problem with the variations uh, because it was something very new to people and mm -hmm. we also didn't uh, tell the warning to people uh, now we already arrived this warning when people are uploading the products with the variations but I want to uh, give here two tips about how to use the variations in the right way so uh, people can avoid situations like this. Okay. The first one, this idea actually came from you, uh, is really not to put collage when you upload listings okay. with the variations. So uh, for people just don't, uh, don't check the collage option. So, don't check the collage button, okay. Yeah, so this way, when someone see that the t-shirt is blue, for example, and they don't want the blue one, so they will choose really the variation of the blue one. Uh, the second problem is the titles. On Amazon, all of the, each variation has its own title and own description and own item specifics. While okay. on eBay, all of the variations have the same title and the same description which can cause a really uh, big problems. Because for example, if I list t-shirts uh, and one t-shirt is blue and one is yellow, but in the title we write uh, blue, so it will cause a problem because someone, maybe he chose the yellow one and the title is blue. So it can be like a product not as described problem. Uh, yeah. to, solve, to solve this, what people can do, they can go to settings, blocked keywords, and there they can put all of the colors. And in this way, any product with color in the title will not be uploaded. Okay. Probably so, you could do the same thing for size as well. Maybe small, yeah. medium, large, that sort of thing. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah, because the, the problem usually comes for uh, sizes and colors. So if okay. you exclude both these listings, maybe less listings will be uploaded, but you will be more covered and more uh, like, more confident that you're matching up with what they're getting and that's good. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so okay. this tips about the variations. What did you tell to the clients when you had the problems? So in order to deal with the return, that's why I said I like Amazon. All I did was go to my Amazon order and I just clicked return or it, it, there's a choice of like return or refund. Um, and I did, um, or exchange and I did the return and what they do is they give you directions and they give you a QR code once you make your selection of how you want to return it. And I always had, um, take it to a UPS store because most people have some sort of UPS store somewhere close. Not all people. I understand that. Or there's a UPS pickup. I would communicate first with the, the customer. I said, um, you're going to have to request a return from eBay. In eBay, there is a link that it's really hard to find the return. You have to go to their PayPal transaction and then uh, refund them through PayPal. You don't actually do it through eBay. So then I would take, let's go back. I go to Amazon, get their order, and I click on return. And then I copy the directions on how to do a return. I paste that in a message to my eBay customer that wants the return. Then here's the, the most difficult part is there's a QR code that they have to take to Am or the UPS store in the Amazon return instruction. So I would download the picture of the QR code, then I would, up I would upload it and attach it into the eBay message. So then I tell them, look at the attachment, take the picture to the UPS store of the QR code, and they'll ship it back for you. And that was it. And honestly, I thought I'd have more problems after giving people those instructions. And I think I had a 76 year old say, I don't know how to do this. And um, I'm like, that's, it's all good. So what I just did for her was sent her like a, um, a United States Postal Service return address, something or other, so she could just stick it in the mailbox. So um I, that's how I dealt with it and everybody took it back because then they get a message from Amazon saying your return is, is done and then you get refunded. So it's pretty easy on Amazon's part. Like they just refund you as soon as they see that processed. They don't even wait for the product to get back to them. As soon as they take it to the postage store, it, you see the return process. And the clients got it okay? I mean, without any problems? Feedback. Yeah, after, um, the, after we kind of figured out the confusion and why, I, like at first I was like, what? What happened? And, and it was the variation pictures and the collage and that sort of thing. Um, they just showed them back. I guess people are kind of used to it at this point, um, getting things and shipping them back and <laughs> just having that. So it wasn't like totally foreign probably to the people that are buying on eBay, so. So they got it uh, okay, like it's normal. Yeah, they, they you know, people, a couple people were nice about it and they're like, yeah, we shipped it back and thank you for the re refund. And that was it. Um, there, there, were, there was one person that wanted an exchange. And what I did is I went on to see if what they want, it was like a different size, like you said. They wanted a 12 inch, they got a 10 inch. And I went back to Amazon to see if there was a bigger because one of the options at Amazon is you can exchange with some people and they didn't have that product. So I just told her, I'm sorry, I'm out of that size and I don't, I just can't ship it to you. Cool. So actually all what you need to do is to be honest with the clients and they will Yes. Do. Yes. Uh, I've been totally open and honest with them. Like I just don't have the, the uh, supply of that product and I'm sorry that we shipped you the wrong thing. I'll take care of the ship. You know, yeah, what can you do? I mean, we make mistakes. Yeah. Another thing which uh, I think also possible is that if the issue is the colors, so sometimes the client will be, will accept to keep the other color and then you can just refund, for example, 10% 10, 10 of the price or something like that. Yeah. Some of the people, um, I did offer, depending on the product, I did offer uh, like a monetary, you know, substitution for return it. I would say, do you want to return it or would you rather keep $20 from me, keep your product and just go from there? And there were a couple people that just took the extra money and then a few other people just wanted to send the whole thing back. So you just kind of got to feel out what the customer wants and what they feel like dealing with. I, I mean, that's everybody's different. So some people kept the money. Some people just wanted to return it. Okay, nice. Uh, 
You asked me something about the uh, credits before, uh, about the credits calculation. Yes, um, I've had people ask me, so basically what's the return on investment? If I invest $100 in credits, how much money will I make back? Um, I, do you have like something you could give us, a formula or information or guide or what, what are your thoughts about that? Did you check it from your results for now, until now? Yeah, my result. I actually, <laughs> I'm a little nerdy at times and I like to see the statistics. And um, of course, everyone that's going to invest money wants to know if they're going to make money back. So um, what I did was a formula based on the number of credits that I bought and the amount that I had spent within, I think, or, or made within two weeks of starting and what I figured out after, and you're just going to have to trust me, I'm not going to give you and bore you with the, the formula I used in the numbers, but it came down to 86 cents per credit that I bought. That's how much money I did make at the time that I did this. And I think it was about two, two weeks after I started. So obviously it's going to vary based on what options you pick, what amount of money you put in, um, how many you have out there, whether you pick coupons or eight credits or five or five sales per month or whatever, whatever you pick is going to vary. And I haven't done it in the last month, but I will do it. And like, I'll try to get an updated figure. So they'll just have to check back in my video or look in the description below. Maybe I'll put it down there. So <laughs> cool. So I will tell you what I saw from my experience. It's mm -hmm. not very far from yours, actually. Uh, what we saw is that usually when people upload around 10,000 listings from the Autodesk Finder, we have a lot of users who just use only the Autodesk Finder for big stores. Mm -hmm. They got around $1,000 profit after all of the fees. Okay. Uh, so it's very close to your uh, calculation. Again, it depends on the account and depends on the time because the first month will be less sales from the second month because after the first month, you will get more sales history and then you will sell more. Uh, so it depends on the time, but it's around $1,000 per 10,000 listings. This is the... Okay. Average. So the, it's, a, it's a numbers game. And this is what I always tell people in dropshipping. They often say, well, how much am I going to make? And I'm like, well, how much are you going to put into it? Like, <laughs> it's, it's really how many listings do you have? And... It, you know, if you have 10 listings and what type of listings. So I can't really say how much you're going to make and, and uh, outside of it's a numbers game. Like the more you list, the bigger the item, the better off you're going to be with making money. So uh, that's a good answer. 10,000 for a thousand. I mean, 10,000 credits or list. I mean, listings. Yeah. It's good to know. I think this is actually the good thing on eBay. Is that you just need to understand that when you grow more, you can make more profits because people can't wait for this. Like a lot of people are like dropping out from eBay dropshipping when they have around 100 products. They even don't get to this point where they really can start making the profits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, I agree. People are too timid. Um, you got to treat it like a business. Like, there's no business out there that you're going to buy for $50. Yeah. And, and so if you invest $50 in a business, well, you know, what do you expect to get out of it? If you invest $500, get better. If you invest a thousand, you know, what you put in is what you're going to get out. Like if you're wanting to make money, you got to think like a business owner. You can't just dabble with your toe in the water and think you're going to be an Olympic swimmer or something. Yeah. You got to jump in, you know? Yeah. I accept. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, I think that uh, I asked you, asked you most of the things that I wanted to ask you. Uh, mm -hmm. Would you like to share with people any other things about Autodesk, about dropshipping tips that you want to give them, about your channel, anything? Well, I, I've just, I'm, if you're part of my channel and you've seen some of my other videos, or um, even if you haven't, go check them out. But I'm, I'm very transparent. I, I don't go in and tell you you're going to make $5,000 if you start this. Like I give you my experience. I give you the real numbers. I show you my screen. I show you my account. I show you my products. 
Um, if that's something you're interested in, we can walk together. I have consultations. I can help you set things up. Um, look in the description below and I'll give you all the links that you need um, for my channel. Um, as well as, you know, check out AutoDS. I'll put a link there too. Uh, there's, you have nothing to lose. You don't have to buy into AutoDS to get something out of it. Um, you can get involved with them and, and check out their stuff and just sign up and see what they have and go from there. And, and I'm here to help you. Um, there's an awesome AutoDesk uh, help desk that, that AutoDS also has in their chat down on the right side of the screen. Um, outside of that, thanks for watching. I mean, I hope we helped you and informed you about a new dropshipping software tool. Yeah, by the way, the trial is $1 for one month using Amy's uh, link. So you will get there also the final credits for free, 400 credits, credits to try this. Um, and I think that uh, that's all. I think that actually one interesting thing about Amy that uh, I saw is that I work with a lot of YouTubers and most of the YouTubers just taking the software, creating the videos even without the it or uh, like really try to work with it and just putting their link and that's all. While Amy asked us a lot of questions really to understand uh, the tool exactly how everything works. So I think that this is amazing that you're really trying to work with it and you're really transparent. And uh, that's all. Thank you very much, Amy. Well, thank you, Lior. I really try to be authentic and I like to know what I'm doing. So, <laughs> and I know I've had a ton of questions. Yeah, that's, so, that's great. You're right. I really, I'm really trying to learn it inside and out because, I mean, 15 years of doing this manually is, this is like, like I said, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Yeah, this is really great because when we see that someone is asking questions of this type, actually, that you really want to go deep and understand, so we know that this. Uh, guy or this user will really success and really like want to succeed in dropshipping so it's really yeah. cool thank you all right thanks again bye bye